What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video. Come to talk to you guys today with a credit card comparison video. And a lot of you guys like these comparisons I do on the channel here. So we're going to talk about uh, some two credit cards here that are, well, I mean, from very, very different types of organizations, but that are both um, well known for their cash back and cash rewards and that kind of thing. So we're going to be comparing today the Navy Federal Cash Rewards credit card from a credit union from the um, Apple card <laughs> that is actually issued by Goldman Sachs, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and compare these two cards, right? Even if you're not Tim Cook here, uh, you can get this Apple card, okay? So guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Again, I appreciate you guys being so awesome down in the comments section and uh, commenting like Tammy, you're in there a whole lot. I know, uh, was it Maritz? She's in there a whole lot, right? So is Nino, a lot of you guys are in there a whole bunch. So Winston, I appreciate you guys being so awesome and helping other people out. Now, if you have one of these two cards, definitely let me know about it, if you, what you think about them. If you got both of them, I'd really like to hear from that. If you have both these cards, I'd like to hear what you have to say. But let's go ahead and jump into it here, okay? Now, we're talking Navy Federal Credit Union versus the Apple card, okay? So Navy Federal, they're the world's largest credit union, okay? So their history, they've been around um, for quite some time, but not as old as like, you know, certain banks and that kind of thing. Now, Apple card, they do use um, Goldman Sachs, like I said earlier, to issue the card. So they actually pull from TransUnion. That's one thing that both these organizations have in common is uh, Apple pulls from TransUnion. Navy typically pulls from TransUnion. I have... Sometimes they do pull Equifax. I mean, the politically correct answer is that they could technically pull from all three, right? Um, TransUnion, Equifax, or Experian. But my experience with Navy Federal Credit Union, most of what I've seen from other people is that they will pull from TransUnion. So keep that in mind. Now, as we go through here and we compare this side by side when it comes to these two credit cards, what we have, so the Navy Federal, their cash rewards credit card um, is going to be best for getting cash back. Uh, everyday spending, and you usually have to have average to excellent credit uh, to get this card. It's not as challenging to get as their um, flagship card. Excuse me. The flagship card of the six cards Navy Federal has, the flagship is like, you know, the granddaddy of them all for Navy Federal. That's like the one that almost everybody wants to get. Uh, but these other cards that Navy Federal has that are unsecured are a bit easier to get, okay? You don't have to have quite as high a credit score for this one compared to like their um, flagship card. Now, Apple Card is best for Apple Pay users, duh. Uh, people who purchase their home car or office devices from the Apple Store. And then you can also share one card account with up to five other people on Apple Family Cards. So you can put numerous people on one account uh, with the Apple Card. Now, as we continue to move forward here, so if you're looking for the sign up bonus offer that Navy Federal is offering as of the making of this video, this does change about. I'd say about once a quarter, they actually do change their offer. So right now, so you get $250 cash back bonus if you spend $2,500 within 90 days of the account opening. Now, some other benefits, right? You get no rewards limit, right? No expiration on points while the account is open, right? Collision damage waiver, other stuff that um, we can talk about a little later. But the Apple Card, they don't have any like big sign up bonus offer, okay? So if you're looking for that kind of sign up bonus, you're not gonna get it with the Apple Card, okay? Lots of banks and credit unions will do something like that. Um, you get 100 bucks after you spend 1000 right? You get Chase does $200 after you spend 500 Usually it's within 90 days. I've seen business credit cards where it's you get, if you spend 15000 within 90 days, you get like, um, I think like 100 or is 1000 bucks cash back, something like that, okay? You'll find something along those lines. Now, the Apple card, their benefits, they have 3% cash back on everything you buy at Apple. So, um, <laughs> stuff you get from the store or from... Um, Serves like uh, stuff you get from the store, games from the app store, service like Apple Music or Apple TV, uh, and purchases on that you make on um, or purchases that you make from merchants. Okay, so yeah, Uber, Walgreens, Nike, all that kind of stuff. All right. Now, Navy Federal. All right. Some of the other benefits you have with the cards, you get one point seven five percent cash back on your purchases when you get a cash rewards card, and this is the important part, and you enroll in direct deposit. Okay. If you do not enroll in direct deposit, you're still going to get 1.5% cash back, okay? So it's not a bad deal by any means, all right? And you have cell phone protection that comes with it as well. Now, with the Apple Card, you get 2% daily cash back when you use your iPhone or Apple Watch to pay with Apple Card, then 1% daily cash back on every purchase when you use the Titanium Card. Now, a lot of people like that 2%, you know, cash back, that flat... Uh, flat cash back amount. But really, if you do the math on some of this, you can actually see that, especially if you're going to get a credit card... Um, you know, somewhat frequently than actually like a card like Navy Federal with the amount they're offering as far as cash back plus the sign up bonus winds up being actually a better deal. So we'll keep moving forward though. 
in our comparison here, and we'll look at some more of the features that they offer, okay? Now, with the cash rewards cards from Navy Federal, um, now with the direct deposit, you can spend uh, $400. You could earn $7 cash back if you, if you use like in a store on, uh, or in-store or online without member deals, or $27 cash back with member deals. It's something that doesn't get talked about with Navy Federal a whole lot. They're member deals that they have and how like how much more you can get in terms of points by going you know by buying something through their member deals I, for whatever reason i to me it just seems like it doesn't get a whole lot of attention um cash rewards without the direct deposits if you spend four hundred dollars you could earn six dollars cash back if you do in store or online without member deals or twenty six dollars cash back with member deals purchases online through navy federal now apple card the features one of the things they have the only credit card made of titanium Cool, huh? <laughs> I guess if you really like the look and being able to, I guess, maybe show off the card, you just like to have that exclusivity, um, then yeah, the only card made of titanium. So it's a sustainable metal known for its beauty and durability. So hey, if that's something important to you, the design, the, the material, like what it's made out of, I mean, hey, that's for some people, that's cool, okay? And so you can accrue and spend rewards in real time with the Apple card. Now, another thing is, well, Move forward as I keep thinking about titanium. Uh, when it comes to the fees, all right? So fees with a card, whether your card is titanium or not. Um, cash rewards card with Navy Federal, right? Navy Federal is not known for having really high fees and that kind of thing, okay? So you see the annual fee, the foreign transaction fee, cash advance, uh, balance transfer fee, those are all zero with Navy Federal on their cash rewards card. Now, um, purchase and balance transfer, the variable APR is 9.65% to 18%. So late payment, return payment fee up to 20 bucks. Uh, with Apple, the annual fee and foreign transaction fee is zero. The over the limit fee, zero. Setup maintenance reward redemption fee, zero. And their variable APR is 10.99 to 21.99%. So actually that's fairly competitive to Navy Federal. Oftentimes uh, other um, credit cards that get offered are not really, even from other credit unions, are often not real comparable with Navy Federal when it comes to uh, the variable APR, but they're actually fairly competitive on that one. And late P, ret or late P, late payment fee, return payment fee, <laughs> zero with the Apple Card. So this is what you're looking at as far as fees between these two between these two popular credit cards. Now eligibility requirements for these two cards. Okay. Now when it comes to um, Navy Federal, you can apply online or by phone, or you just visit a branch to apply in person. Okay. Now, a lot of the people, uh, these are the people that you would obviously expect to be able to apply for Navy Federal, right? Active duty, military, reservists, veterans, retirees, uh, new attendants, that kind of thing. Uh, Army and Air National Guard, right? So guardsmen can as well. Um, civilians can. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for the Apple Card, you have to be at least 18 years or older, depending on where you live. You have to be a U.S. citizen or a lawful resident with a valid physical U.S. address. That's not a P.O. box, okay? So you can use a military address uh, as well for the Apple Card. Now, continue with the eligibility requirements, right? For Navy Federal, you could be a DOD civilian or government contractor or government uh, employee on a DOD installation um, or someone who's getting ready to go into basic training in the military. If you're in depth, delayed entry program, if you're going into the military, you know what that is. Um, but with the Apple Card, other requirements that they have is your device has to be compatible with Apple Pay, right? Duh. Uh, so you have to make sure your device is the latest version of iOS, watch OS, or Mac OS. So you must sign into your device with Apple and use two-factor authentication. It says you might need to verify your identity with a driver's license or state-issued photo. So if there's any kind of issue, they may ask that you just verify your identity while applying for the Apple Card. Now, uh, a final part when it comes to the eligibility requirements between these two is, right, so Navy Federal, this is the part where family can join, right? Parents, grandparents, spouses, of military members, siblings, grandchildren, um, children, including adopted and stepchildren and household members, so you could even be like a roommate, can get into Navy Federal if you're a roommate with someone who's in the military. And the last part for Apple, their eligibility requirements you want to keep in mind is if you have a freeze in your credit report, uh, you need to temporarily lift the freeze to apply for the Apple card. So you have to lift that on a TransUnion. That's where they pull from. So if you have a freeze on TransUnion, you need to lift that before you go ahead and even apply for the Apple card. Now, why you might get declined. This actually comes straight from Apple's website. So they do a good job actually of giving this um, information here. And they give like bullet points for each one of these. But this is really true for just about any credit card. Okay, so if you're new to credit, this is like true across the board that you want to remember. So if you're behind on your debt obligations, you've previously been behind. So that's obviously not going to be good if you can't make payments 
already and you're trying to get another credit card, you're gonna have to make payments on that. Uh, if you've got negative public records, right? So, you know, you got a bankruptcy or something like that, you've had repossession, not good. Uh, heavily in debt, so kind of going back to the one, the first one about being in debt or your just income isn't high enough to make those debt payments, yeah, you're probably gonna get declined. And if you've applied for a whole bunch of credit cards or loans lately, then that makes you look kind of like desperate for money. So if you're desperate for money, then you know they're gonna look at you like you're having financial problems, which means they're probably not gonna wanna give you some of their money to use and hope that you pay them back. And then your credit score is too low. There's definitely plenty of things you can do to try to get your credit score up and increase that over time. Keep watching the channel, we'll be talking about that. But there's some of the common reasons why you might get declined for the card, whether it's Apple or whether it's Navy Federal or just really any credit card in general. And with that being said, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So guys, there's a whole lot more to talk about here. I appreciate you taking some of your time to watch this comparison video. If you got another one you want me to do for a comparison, let me know down in the comments section. I kind of like doing these like side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, I like talking about just an individual card here and there, but the side-by-side, -side, for some reason, I, I kind of like that as well. And you guys seem to like it too. So again, thank you guys for joining me on this channel. Thank you for being so active down in the comments section. That's me for this video. And until next time, keep growing your money.